kind of just, like, really... Like, having to, like... Wash my bras, because it's so sweaty and gross and nasty that I'm like, I can't... I can't deal. It's like, no. No. Alright, so we're gonna add five tablespoons of gochujang or whatever you end up doing. Um... I know, I, th I think we have the important questions and conversations, Cake, when you're around. I appreciate it. I feel like these are the things we should really be talking about. We really need to focus on important things to you guys. Um, very important. I need to grab a knife. It's getting too spicy for molder, though. We gotta talk more about balls, not... We don't need to know that. I think... <laughs> Mulder is... I mean, she's right there! It's not like she's gone. Oh. <laughs> My ribs are broke. Oh yeah, that's probably not a good time. She's at work. Oh, okay. She's at work. Okay. That's fair. So we're gonna get five tablespoons of gochujang. I mean, this isn't the super spicy version, so... You can probably put a little bit more in it, but, you know, it's up to you, really. They're very sticky, though. It's very, very, very sticky. Very, very sticky. So, you know, do your best. Use a spatula, kind of scrape that bad boy out, make sure you're using enough. And the, the gochujang will kind of turn browner as you expose it to air and all. Which is fine, um, but it doesn't look nice. I tried a custard apple. What, what is that? I've never heard about a custard apple. All right, last one. I saw prey and I didn't hate it. I've heard it's actually pretty okay. Uh, like I haven't watched it yet, but yeah, I heard I heard good things. You might like it. I call it sugar apples. I don't think I've seen a sugar apple either. Oh god, I touched it. I touched it. Alright, so we got uh, five tablespoons of gochujang. Um, we're gonna add three tablespoons of unseasoned rice wine or whatever. Um, whatever. I'm gonna use sherry because it works. It works. Yo, chat, I went to a barcade last night. Made friends with these three guys who played Smash and. I got a little oh, lightheaded. No. Full regret. Price everywhere. Thank you for that raid. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? We're making uh, that gulpy. Um, we're making the marinade first. Um, we're getting there. They're an exotic fruit. I really like. It's it's a Asian pear called a sand apple. Delicious. If I see it, I'll try it out. Um, would you like a clip full of regret? Pea protein based quote unquote meatballs. Next. But if you would like to um, get a clip, I'll do it. And I'll just give you a little shout out. Um, we seem to get a lot of the same clips. I don't know if it's just bad luck. It might be bad luck. Three tablespoons of vinegar, uh, not vinegar, but the rice wine. Jimmy got drugged? Jimmy, you should be careful making friends. Uh, Jimmy. Um, I will fix my clips. All right, let's give you a little shout out. Um, yeah, I used to... I, I, it doesn't happen as much ever since I've taken more, a little bit more breaks. I got a little tipsy, okay? Did you? Don't check out Full Regret. Alright, let me pull out this chicken too. I gotta separate this. I gotta have it just, uh... We're gonna marinate it. But this was frozen because it was gonna go bad by the time we were able to use it this week. Alright. Ugh. 
Everybody at work? Yeah, everybody's at work. But but Mulder's retired. He gets to like do nothing all day. It's sweet. I am naked on my couch. I am I not surprised? Alright, I think this will be fine. It'll be easier to cut up. These are boneless um skinless chicken thighs. We'd have a little extra chicken, which, which is not bad. It's okay. I like me some chicken. All right, sift it out and let that kind of warm up a little bit more. Um. Yeah, actually, Mulder did get hit by a truck. Um. He's he's you know, ah, you know that'll break your ribs. Yep. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if he wants to be naked on his couch, he's got a good excuse. Um, it probably hurts to get a shirt on. And pants on. You can't really bend too good. Um, yeah, you probably should put a towel down, because imagine how sweaty you're, you're, you're getting on your couch. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, Lord Lobster wants a wheel of snacks. By the way, uh... Last time we did the wheel, I think on Monday, we ate this Turkish cotton candy. It looks like cat hair, but it tastes delicious. It's very good. All right, so let's go over here. Do, 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 do. Two, the roulette wheel of snacks. Spin that wheel. We got yo-yo tea, mogu mogu, pina colada flavor drink, likey, ramun, dakichi, penrile crema, senvik cracker, and super cola. Oh yeah. Penrile crema senvik cracker. Sounds like, yeah, uh, sandwich cream crackers. Yeah? It's Turkish. Um, I hopefully it's good. Uh, let's see. Um, let's have this choice and try it out. By the way, this is what we made yesterday. We made a uh, heckin' homemade. First time, uh, I think it worked really good. Um, my hand rolled out noodles with the uh, fried up. Uh, Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was like, oh, we got some crunchy boys. Oh, um, I'll see you in, in five. It'll be all right. Enjoy. Get some snacks, too. Um, but uh, we have the cracker. Cream filled. I don't know. Is it, is it cheese cream? Hmm. Cheese cream, maybe? Looks for like a pretty good cracker. Hmm. That's like a good cracker. Let's see how it tastes. If it's sad or if it's just like literally just like one of those orange crackers that are less neon colored. Good, um, yeah. Yeah, that's good shit. This is good shit, uh, yeah, I, I eat this. It's, it, it honestly tastes better than those, like, sandwich crackers you normally get with the it's obviously fake cheese, but you know, that's pretty good. Um, oh god, it doesn't have, is, uh, so sandwich crackers with cheese cream, 30% wheat flour, vegetable, palm, palm oil, uh, milk, whey protein, 
Uh, raising agents, wave powder, cheese powder, permeate powder is basically milk, invert sugar syrup, whole milk powder, starch, fat, sugar, dextrose, malt extract, uh, flavorings, bulking agent, acidity re regulators, uh, skim milk powder, emulsifier, flower treatment agents, and that's, I mean, it's fine. It, it tastes good. actually delicious. Mm. Yeah. Oh shit. That's nice. You made that guy's day. So we're gonna get the, the blender out. Mm. Mm. Alright, we need one tablespoon of the Yo, Mulder, you gotta calm down. I mean, unless it's consensual, that's cool. I mean, you do, man. You, man. Um, we got a gochuguru, which is the um, pepper flakes. We need uh, two tablespoons of normal soy sauce. And we'll add this to a blender with all the all this together. I'm just measuring out here because it's annoying to measure it out in the in the blender. <laughs> and two tablespoons of brown sugar. It could be light brown sugar, it could be dark brown sugar, it doesn't matter. It's sugar. Um go to gang. <laughs> Now, Jimmy, I don't know what, I don't mean, I don't know. Yo, Jimmy, what was your favorite thing so far of your, your trip here, buddy? What, did you eat anything good? Do you have pictures of food? Do you have pictures of your food? You don't share? buy a Prius and drive to San Diego? That sounds like a long... You know Jimmy's just down there eating taco... No! Taco Bell! Don't tell me that Jimmy goes all the way down to take a vacation and all he eats is Taco Bell? Oh my god, Gary. Gary, do you want me to bring up your food? If, are you on call? Brown sugar. Two tablespoons. God, Jimmy, don't tell me that you're eating. I just got off call. Okay. Don't tell me that you're eating Taco Bell. I'll be so sad. I'll be sad, Jimmy. You can eat that anywhere. It's always the same. Uh, let me wipe this down. I got everything all sticky. Anyway, I'm gonna add the one last ingredients. We have one teaspoon of curry powder, and uh, that's it. That's all the ingredients. We're gonna blend it together. 
we might have to add more liquid if the blender bowl is not, um, you know, completely to the blade. Hey, Mickey, welcome back. Back foods. Yes. I went to a Dragon Ball Z themed restaurant. It was awesome. It's called Super Saiyan. <laughs> Nice. Um, I like that. That's that's good. That's good shit. All right, let me get my teaspoon measuring spoon because this is really hard to open. I mean, so if he is using adultfriendfighter.com, I mean, just let the boy have a good vacation here. That's where he gets his. Oh God! No, Gary, get out of here. That's not where he gets his taco bell. Oh, no, come on, Gary. Gary, how dare. So anyway, I was just gonna push this blender over here because I can't reach the blender. I'll plug this sucker in. How dare you, Gary. They're great. Want to have one? They're great. They're cheese crackers. Oh, it's good. I mean, that that package of cheese crackers was like 79 cents or something. It was good for 79 cents. Well, shit, man. That's the best quality crackers I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, 20 cent like baby cookies is delicious. Yes. Uh, we had... I had this, um, it's a Turkish, um, it's kind of like, oh god, what do you call them? There, there's a little, like, uh, cream-filled, che uh, cheesy cream-filled, uh, crackers. And it, it, it's not orange-colored. It's, it's good. I like them. That was, that whole package of, like, 20 crackers is like, I don't know, 79 cents. I can't go wrong. I'm happy with it. Well, shit. I can't, I can't go wrong with that. Um, buddy. All right, so we're gonna, well, oh, I love the peanut butter ones. Peanut butter crackers are so good. Hey, Gary, what you, oh, you want food? Gary yeah, wants food. Gary's like, come up, my cold ass. I, that's why I keep it in the pan, cause I'm like, in hopes that it stays a little warmer. I don't know, maybe it'll keep a little warm. It's like slightly warm. Um, it's fine. No, I'm not, no. I'm not making bread crumbs out of cellulose. All right, let me give you a fork. Oh God, ah, fiber chicken. Oh gee, no, Gary. I threw that fork at you cause that's what I feel. They are really super high in calories, but they're great because they're crackers. I love crackers. Oh god. Fifteen grams of fiber in each each uh okay. Um each piece of fried chicken. Alright, so we're gonna get this over here. We're gonna get I think we have no problem blending it. Uh, let me just kinda get this all situated in here. Won't be able to see much, don't worry. We got the chicken, just, it, it's still slightly frozen. I forgot to thaw it last night. I went to bed early. I was like, fuck man, I'm gonna go get some sleep. Gary's been keeping awake because he's tossing and turning and he isn't feeling good. And I'm like, no, you can't be weak. He's, he's, he's not feeling good. He's like, mm. Mm. I'm like trying to sleep over here. And I didn't, will it blend? We'll see. I'm not putting the chicken in the blender. I like to make good food, Gary. Not just TikTok bullshit. All right, so we're gonna turn this on. I'm gonna turn it. On. Yes. Yes. I have a confet. Oh. What? What kind of confession we talk about? All 
Alright, it is fully smooth. Gary's right, I have been eating Taco Bell for the past three- WHAT?! The fuck, Jimmy? If you really- If you're like, I'm gonna treat myself and get- Get some- Some ramen And shit, and, you know... <sighs> How dare you, Jimmy? I thought I knew you! So I love Dorito Loco Tacos, okay? Gary pa wait, Gary paid for it? You fucking encouraged this shit behavior? He sent you the cash? He traded a TV for all the Doritos Locos that you can eat? Oh my god. Oh my god, Gary. What are you- Oh god. I mean, it's probably not that bad, but it's like, Jimmy, you're on, you're on a vacation. Treat yourself. I mean, I get like saving some money. Get saving some money. Uh, <laughs> Gary's Jimmy's <laughs> sugar daddy. <laughs> you paid me in cash. Paid me in tackles. Let's go. That's all Jimmy wants. It's fine. We paid in tacos. All right, so we're gonna have to. You could pay him in tacos. Yeah, tacos pretty cheap. I mean, how many tacos would it take to buy that TV? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna chop up this uh, chicken mm -hmm. into cubes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not plain lo mein. I I, I do agree. I'm trying to get this stuck back in here. My buttons are falling off. Um. Alright, let's grab a handy dandy because I don't want to ruin my counter. <sighs> Gary, get out. Get out, Gary! <sighs> he's making jokes! He's the one that gets all pissy about puns and shit, and he's punning right right over there. You can't even hear him, you just hear a womp 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 womp. Um, how dare you. All right, so I'm gonna cut this into big chunks, about an inch, it doesn't really. Gary, pay for my McFlurries? If you only knew how the McFlurries are made, I don't think you would eat McFlurries anymore, Jamie. I mean, a McFlurry is just, um, it's just, honestly, I think it's just a frosty, like a milkshake and just ice cream. It's milkshake and ice cream in McFlurry, I think. Yeah. I think McFlurries and Frosties are the same thing, though I've never had it. Yeah, I don't go to McDonald's either. Normally when I go to McDonald's, it's, like it's for breakfast. breakfast. Exactly. McDonald's breakfast is pretty, pretty baller, yo. It's for, for breakfast. Like, if you can't, like, unless you're in, like, biscuit world territory, then that's, yeah, then that's the choice you make. Tudor's biscuit world. If you know about Tudor's biscuit world, that's the best biscuits you can get, buddy. Good shit. Yo, I wonder if Bush went to Biscuit World. He's in, in Ohio. They have, I don't know if they have it up where he lives, but come on, Biscuit World. It's good shit. Um, it's like a West Virginia. West Virginia thing, mostly? PA thing? It's kind of like West of the Appalachians. West of the Appalachians. Whatever you say, Gary. No, it's, it's West Virginia for sure. I'm pretty sure it goes. I love me some biscuits, 100%. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my, uh, gonna let me do my telly job by throwing everything on the floor. Thanks, Gary. Really? No, don't throw things on the floor. Yeah. God damn it. It's fucking chaos in the kitchen. Don't. Note. Don't. 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 Note. 
Nope. Don't even, Gary. Don't even. The soy sauce is not even. Don't even. So anyway, I was chopping up this chicken. We're gonna toss this together with that sauce that we just put together. I think we're using the whole amount. Let me just double check. She's going outside. Going outside. Blocking. The Got my chipotle cheese from Aldi. That's pretty good. I love chipotle. I love me some chipotle flavored stuff. It's pretty good. Alright, so that's ready. We're going to toss it with the salsa. And then. Now just making sure that I use all of it. <laughs> yes, all of it goes in. Okay. So we're gonna add all this marinade and coat that chicken with it. Alright, buddy. So anyway, I start blasting. I blast your ass. Boop, let's go. All right, so we're gonna give this a stir here. Are you going back to work, doing work stuff? You doing all right today? You doing okay? It's good to hear. Oh, it smells really good. All right, that's ready to go. Um, We're gonna put this off to the side and we're gonna clean up this counter because it's a little bit wet. And then we gotta chop up the cabbage. We gotta chop up the potato. Uh, get the uh, perilla leaves ready. That's good. Maybe it'll be fun. Also, we need to soak the rice cakes. Uh, they're not frozen, but they're in the fridge and we gotta soak them so they're not, uh, they cook properly. And we're gonna start the stir fry. Cook the chicken and then cook the sweet potato. I'm gonna probably do that separate because that's gonna take longer than anything else. Add the rice cakes, add the cabbage, give it a stir, add the perilla leaves. And then uh, serve it up. I'm gonna maybe make some rice too. I'm gonna get the vegetables ready. And we'll make the, um, the chive salad. Also, I might go for a bathroom break. I gotta go pee, pee so bad. So I might do that right now. So I'm not like, you know, distracted. I really gotta go pee this whole time and wait 30 minutes because I don't think I'm gonna make it. Um, so we're gonna go over here two i'm gonna close this window because it's in the way i need to run to the bathroom i'll be back in probably less than five minutes i just gotta run to the bathroom we're gonna run some clips i'll be back in a moment uh it's not healthy to hold your pee agree agreed gotta pee um we'll be back in a moment enjoy play words what game No. Yeah. It tastes like feet. It, it tastes like if I was licking Deuce's feet. Boom. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, you, you got this. You got. You got this. You're fine. Bush, thank you for that, host. Um, I, I typically don't drink IPAs though. Um, I just, I'm not too into it. Oh my god, it's so pretty! Oh my god, it's so much cheese! <laughs> oh my god, it's so much goddamn cheese! <laughs> I never go to the Twitch site, except to resub. Yeah, dude, there's, there's so much shit, like... Like I, I oh, oh, no. God Where damn it! Gary! Everywhere! Fuck. <sighs> Dad? Alright, hold it. Block. Alright. Oh, I thought I. I... Alright, it's fine.
Hello, welcome back to Taylor Day's streaming stream. I had to run to the quick to the bathroom. Hello, how are you doing? Um, Big Barn, thank you so much for that raid. Welcome to the stream. I, I didn't set a timer. I had to run to the bathroom. I had to go. I had to go bad. Um, welcome to the stream. Hey, we have a jack. Uh, you caught me. It was like, I took like a couple minutes. Hey, it's Wabajack. Hi, welcome to the Lobster Crew. Welcome, Bacon Barn uh, readers. Y'all check out the Bacon Barn. Also, check out heckin' Wabajack. Let's see. Um, would you like a uh, clip, either of you? Y'all check out their channels. They stream sometimes. Short. Um, short. Bathroom breaks. <laughs> no, sometimes you guys go hard on on occasion. Let's go back to the counter. This is what we made yesterday. I made homemade pasta for the first time, and actually it was really good. Um, hmm, I liked it. Oh, your your brain is leaking out of your. Do you have some tissues? Maybe you can we can uh, do something with that. Ooh, Zwift new game release. Does anybody do Zwift? <laughs> um, you can add me. Um, all right, let's do Wabajack. Let's see what you got. It's working today for some reason. It wasn't yesterday. What is this? Oh, he's putting some Hearthstone. Or what? What, what is that? That's not Hearthstone. What is that? Is that game? Is it? Is that the Gwen thing? What is that? Elder game thing? Interesting. I've never seen that played before. Elder Scroll Legends. Um, what you been playing lately? And also, uh, Big Bear, what, what what you been? doing today. Welcome. Alright, so we need to, uh, they say we'll use about four ounce potatoes. I think we have too much potato, but, you know, basically all the same is. It's abandoned? Oh, no. Reap. Need a new card game within Elder Scroll Online. Yeah, I've never seen it. I don't see how many... Oh, this is a huge potato. Um, we'll do like double. We'll cut it in half. How about that? Yeah, we'll cut this in half and then we'll uh, peel it. And we'll have to prepare the rice cakes. I hope that's decent, I guess, right? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, let me go get some water in the sink so I can start cleaning dishes. Cause I need knives, I've used a lot. Nerd Slayer Studio channel videos? Oh, I'll have to check that out. Uh, yeah, if I remember right, Elder Scrolls Online ain't bad. Um, I heard it's, it's actually been a lot better lately. But yeah, man, I, I always see like, is it is it a roguelike card game or card game in general? I'm like, I just don't, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. I've had enough of the card-based game play. Like, I like card games and all, but... Like, oh. mm. It's alright, but... I'm always sad a little bit when I hear that it's a card game-based battle or roguelike, and I'm like, no! Why? Why must you do this to me? I just want to play games. We have enough. I'm, I'm card gamed out. Yeah, I will say that Inscription was best non-multiplayer card game. I, I do say that I like Inscription because it was different. And it was varied enough. So it like it kept my attention, you know? So I'm gonna use a bit half of this. I hate cutting sweet potatoes cuz I'm kinda like 
it, it gets stuck on the blade. There's never like a good way to do this. I mean, you could use a saw, I guess, or a cleaver, but you know, it's fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna use half of this because it's too much. It's way too much. Um, yeah, like Gwent and Witcher 3 was fun and all, but yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna peel it with a peeler, it'd be easier. Um, as with a lot of like hard veggies, you can pop it in the microwave for a little bit. It softens enough that it's a little easier to cut through. I just always hated it. It's like especially starchy potato like stuff. Oh my god, the worst thing I have ever ever cut up was that yucca root. I hate it. If I ever do like a fried yucca, yucca, whatever, um, I think it's yucca. Yucca is something else. I, I, I will say that I would rather have frozen yucca root and uh, not have to cut it up. It's like, it's literally a tree root. It's a pain in the ass. I mean, I love fried yucca, but it's such a pain in the ass to prepare. I'm like, dude, I want to do anything but this right now. Enjoy your lurk, Mickey. I, mean, I appreciate all you guys. If you have, I know many of you are work lurking or doing other things. I never feel bad about it. I never feel bad about it. It's fine. If you want to chat, you can chat. If you don't, that's cool too. We're kind of a lurk friendly kind of stream because it's just the, the time of the day, right? I mean, bought a garlic press for the dollar store. I, what, you have probably, dude, this, uh, the garlic press I have, it's like 20, 30 bucks. It was, it's heavy though. I probably will never need another one. It's good. I think it was 20, 30, I think. It's heavy, it's solid metal. Um, hey, thick thighs, thin patience, welcome. Hello, it's hot. Everything is hot. I'm a bit miserable lately. Make sure to drink lots of water. Oh, it's plastic? Oh no. Yeah, I don't know if that would work. Uh, uh. Alright, so we're gonna go and take this and... Take uh, like a quarter inch thick half moons. We're gonna... Very carefully. Do like a rock motion here. Kind of get it through because this is the safest way I know how to cut a sweet potato. I hate doing it. Um, so it looks like it has a little bit of uh, sponginess inside. I think it was possibly going bad soon, but probably's okay. All right, so we're just gonna grab like a quarter inch half moons. Like, so you want to make sure that they they're not gonna take a really long time to cook through. Um, I'm gonna cook these, um, maybe a little bit w with this, with the, um, the rice cakes. Cause I feel like the, the rice cakes and the sweet potato will take the longest. I don't want to have mush for cabbage, you know? I don't have mush for cabbage. So... But yeah, I've had a couple recipes with sweet potato. I mean, this is kind of like a larger sweet potato. That's why I'm like, that's why I'm usually using half. Uh, but yeah, sweet potato is one of those things. If it's overcooked, it's not good. If it's undercooked, it's inedible. There's no middle ground. It's, you gotta make sure to do it right. So also we're gonna get the uh, rice cakes going. We just soak this. Uh, it makes it so that the, uh, Rice cakes are softer when you cook it. They really don't take long. They're just glutinous rice in a tube to cut them up. I thought about making them myself, but I'm like, heck no. That's a lot. It's like make, making mochi. You gotta pound the shit out of it and develop that gluten, if I remember it. All right, um, so we need to... <laughs> don't eat the deoxidizer. Uh, don't recommend it. Oh, this is called. Oh, that's cool. In um, I think this is Italian. It's called Nochi di Riso. Technically, I mean, it is kind of Nochi. Yeah, 
actually, I'll give it to you. It's kind of nochi. Sort of. In kind of a weird way, but it, you're technically correct. Um, technically. I'm just gonna cut the top off. All right, so actually this, oh, nice. It comes in individual packages. So what I run into sometimes, um, it's in a big old bag and it's loose and it dries out over time. So actually that's pretty good. Um, we need about, I don't know, 20. I think this will be plenty. They're not like a really big one. This is like an individual pack. Um, there's some that are kind of bigger, but yeah, we got at least like, I don't know, three more servings or two more servings of it. It's kind of nice. Take it. Uh, I like that. It. That's a very convenient packaging. Hey, Kalma, welcome back. Technical correct is the best kind of correct. Free. I mean, these are uh, round shaped. Like, it's either flour nochi, potato nochi. Same thing. Same difference. All right, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna put this in the bowl. Don't eat this. Don't eat this. Like it's basically like, uh, it says that how many times we have it in, do not eat in Korean, Japanese, Chinese, and Arabic. Please don't eat that. <laughs> Please don't eat. All right, so we're gonna take that and we need to soak it for like, 10 minutes? I think that'd be fair and then drain them. I'll be ready to go. And after we get all the veggies and stuff ready, I'll uh, we'll make the rice real quick or make the, uh, we could probably hold off for making the chive salad because, um, probably hold off. Um, because we probably want that as fresh as possible. It's probably better to have it kind of not wilting. Um, all right, so let me put these in a bowl. We're gonna keep with the the actual rice cakes. And we're gonna chop up about a quarter of a cabbage. I think this is this certifies for small small cabbage. Um, we're gonna take this and open this up and peel off the outer layer. Um, all, with cabbage like this, you don't want to rinse this until you're ready to use it. So we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna rinse the quarter that we use. But I like this. This is, uh, oh god, what is this? Savoy cabbage? It's one of my favorites. Take the rest of this and kind of wrap it up again. Um, yeah, you don't want it to get moist because it goes bad real quick. Um, yeah, usually they, they uh, package this up with a plastic wrap. It just keeps it better, faster, longer. Might use more, but we'll see. Um, so we'll see. Cut off the core, and actually, we don't really need to cut up the core because that's going to be our end point anyway. Uh, but we need to cut that as thinly as possible. You could use a mandolin, but I don't really need to. I don't feel like it's necessary. I don't remember right. That is not the way to cut it. This is the way. Yeah, nice and thin here, buddy. You're gonna have like the outer part that's a little bit thicker. Double butter dip? I mean, would I need to do double? I'm gonna use the whole thing, I think. I'm gonna use this whole... whole half of the cabbage because this is really this is the tiniest cabbage I've ever seen in my life it's so cute 
He's so cute. Oh man, I'm spicy hot though, I'll say that. Dude, why is it so hot? I'm having hot flashes. <laughs> I am getting the little dog shit. All right. Let's slice this nice and thin. I mean, it's not too crazy. Like, you don't have to go too nuts, but you know, it's all right. Do what you can. I'll just use all of it because I'm like, why not? I mean, we're gonna use this for the rest of it anyway. I actually don't have anything planned for it, so we have slightly more chicken, so maybe the extra cabbage would help. Um. I'm gonna peel this outer layer off. It's a little, uh, it's a little floaty. This is what birds do. It's loose. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, we're gonna be continue playing Two Point Campus after we're done eating slash cooking slash taking pictures. It should be a good time. I actually really like that game. That actually is a lot better cut. Nice and thin. You don't need to get the core though. <laughs> we don't need to eat the core. As, as, as much as you want to, it's probably not going to be great. We're gonna slice this up. We're gonna get the uh, at first. It's gonna be like we have to wait for the, the rice cakes to get done. Um, but rice cakes and sweet potatoes together. This is separate. Um, what, what else? We need to get the uh, perilla leaves. They're basically sesame leaves. Um, I don't have samjang. I don't feel like I need it. It's just another sauce that you can serve with the dot galbi. I was like, you know, I thought I thought about making it, I made it before, just, you know, I don't use half the sauces fully as much as I make them. So I'm like, eh, I think it'd be fine by itself. And you can add some chili crisp if you really feel like it. We have some kimchi to serve with it as well. And uh, of course we're gonna have the rice with it. Sammy! We're making heckin' duck all bait. It's delicious. Welcome. I hope everyone's doing okay. It's hot. It's hot yet again. I'm freaking sweating here. I don't even have any, like, anything heating up the kitchen. This is freaking hot. Whew. I feel like my back is sweating. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, let's put this all here. We have the chicken just marinating. I'm gonna give it like a little toss so you can see what it looks like. We just chopped up about one inch chunks of chicken with the marinade. It's a uh, gochujang, gochugaru, um, soy sauce, um, dry sherry. Um, yeah, I hear it. It, it, I think Gary turned it on. Um, garlic, ginger, a little bit of onion, and brown sugar. It's a marinade. It's delicious. We're gonna use that marinade. We're gonna use everything. We're gonna cook it all together. It's more like a, almost like a stew kind of thing. It's like, I feel like I'm sweating through my shirt and that's not very uh, common. I don't really sweat that much. It's like, oh my God. Why does it feel so damn hot? <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna wipe this down. Everything is good to go. Minus we'll make some rice, of course. Um, probably a given in most Korean dishes, you, you're gonna have rice. You're gonna have some kind of side dish. For sure. With your main. Oh 
Uh, Alright, here we go. Give me your rice. Can you use a pre uh, the rice cooker because, you know, I don't see any purpose to make it myself. It's, it's just kind of, eh. Eh. It's fine. Where's my rice cooker cup, though? That's the real question. And uh, we're almost ready to start cooking it. It really won't take that much longer. There it is. This is the rice cooker measuring cup. It's different. It's... Only 180 milliliters liquid measuring cup. So it's like, it's a little different. It's like about, I think, three quarters of a cup ish. It's the Japanese cup measurement. They have their own cups. Just so you know, that's always fun. There's different kinds of cups, it makes things complicated. Hey, Mr. Haku. Hey, buddy. Yeah, good boy. Um, just gotta find my rice cooker. Put it somewhere. And the last thing we need to prepare, by the time we get the pearl leaves, get the rice going, um, probably say it's close to um, cooking time. Maybe, because it needs like 15 minutes to cook all the, this, this ingredients. I'm just going to be stirred in a bunch. Got another bad butter dab. We got sourdough? Oh, heck yeah. Butter dab. Give me all your sourdough. Buddy. Oh, man. I will say... Oh, I, I remember... So, I, I went to this, uh, like, a, like a farmer's market. And they had a, a guy making, like, bread and stuff. And he's selling it. And, uh, oh my god, they literally passed off sourdough, like a whole wheat, whole grain, 12 grain sourdough. I'm like, I don't even think this is possible. Um, I think they just put, like, literally vinegar in it to make it taste sour. And it hurt my soul. It was not, that was not good bread. And they were charging for, like, I don't know, $6 a loaf for, like, about that red bowl size loaf of bread is sad. It's, it's not good. I didn't eat the whole thing either. It was like, I don't even think I could salvage this. There's not enough butter in the world to make this better. I just feel like I, I've been had. Do the whole, the, do that, so do that that uh, farmer's market. I'm like, dude, I hate this place. I don't go back there anymore. Like, uh, they're charging a lot of money for everything. It's like, fair, you know. Expenses are difficult. But like one person, I go one week and she charged me X amount for, for one thing. And then they're like, charged me double the next time I went. I'm like, fuck you. I'm also not paying like 10 bucks for two scones, okay? Dude, they're scones! They're cheap as heck to make! Oh, I was so angry. I'm like, dude, I can't. I can't even. I'll pay $5 for two tiny scones. And just like, everything feels like a tortoise trap bullshit. Like, if anybody had any clue what they're getting, they wouldn't be there. Um. The fruits were all like double the price. I'm like, nobody's growing a freaking pineapples, okay? Just took the dole off the sad. You made sourdough? Do you have pictures? You should post them. You should post them. Man, I, I was so annoyed. I was like, never going there again. Wasted my tank. I just kind of like the walk down there. It was kind of nice. And I can grab a snack, grab a drink, head on back. You know, like fuck this. Um. Uh. Oh no! Nope. 
Uh, all too bad. There's always another time. There's always another time. All right, that looks good. We're gonna heat this up. In the white rice setting, make sure it's locked in, it's good to go. All right, so we got shredded uh, cabbage. We have the uh, sweet potato. We have the chicken that's been marinating for a bit. We have actual perilla leaves, which are sesame leaves. We're gonna cut these into, they, they, they say recommend cut them uh, about, Use about eight, trim the stems, and slice them in uh, quarters. They're big. They're big leaves. I mean, I get it. They're gonna be too big to put on a single a lettuce leaf. I mean, the biggest one. But these are sesame leaves. I never had this before. It's kind of cool. They're very, very cute. But yeah, that big. These are pearl. Also, they smell. Oh, they smell good. Buddy. I mean, that smells pretty good. They got fuzzy little uh, stems here. They got cute little stems. I'll just uh, cut them in. I'll, I'll clean them first because they're probably dirty. They, they feel a little gritty. I also kind of like this idea more than basil. I love basil, but this smells good. It smells different. All right, let me get some paper towels. Could dry these off, and we're gonna use about um, twelve more with the recipe. bit of extra but that's fine we'll rinse them later all right so these we're gonna dry dry them off real careful so you probably don't want them wet for long but they smell delicious I never actually cooked with these before so this is fun this is new I don't usually I'm not able to find stuff like this usually I've I, actually I was always like curious of like maybe like so at the Asian grocery store I go to, um, they have a bunch of like Indian vegetables that I have no idea if I can actually find a way in English how to make them. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what any of it is, and it might be fun because I also don't want to get sick because like yeah like oh what was it um. There was some kind of thing that they're like, yeah, actually you can't eat this raw because you'll probably get very sick and possibly die if you ate a lot of it. Uh, probably you gotta be careful. <laughs> uh, God, I can't remember what it was. There was like a, one of those videos of like teaching, letting their kid, um, it speaks English of course instruct them how to cook something in their native language and see if they remember how to do anything. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I imagine <laughs> that's a fun time. All right. There's like, actually you put this in raw and you might get sick if you eat it. Um, thanks kids, I'll do this. All right, so I'm gonna cut off the stems. They, they say to cut the stems off. Because it doesn't look very edible. Looks like a fuzzy caterpillar, which is cute, right? They're cute. What well, about eating? Um, all right, and then we're gonna take these and we're gonna line them up. And we're gonna cut it into quarters. If I live in Tennessee and travel to Colorado, can I smoke marijuana and not get in trouble? I mean, as long as you don't bring anything home. Um, though it depends, like, if you have, like, a job, they're like, okay, Mulder. Uh, no, no weeds for you, buddy. I mean, if they find out, like, honestly, like, you know, 
It's like when you go across the border and they found out that you smoked weed in Canada. They can, uh, you can get in trouble for that. Uh, technically. Technically. Um, stuff like that. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this into quarters. I don't know, should we do it like half and then half again? Because we're gonna cook this. Uh, yeah, a lot of jobs don't allow you to have any weed in your system. Even if it's legal there. I mean, like Rod is like, yeah, I live in Colorado, but, you know, I can't do that. I mean, then you're fine. You're fine then, buddy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, yeah, anything that deals with government shit, they don't want you to, because it's federally illegal, and, and, you know, until then, if federal government allows it and it's legal, then it's, uh, everything's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, what happens in Colorado stays in Colorado. <laughs> but yeah, board crossings make it complicated, too. You're fine, Mulder. But anyway, um... I am going to... I'm gonna drain the rice cakes. Because I think they're probably good. It's been... Let me see if they're soft though first before I commit. Will I die if I smoke the marijuana? I mean, there's always a chance for anything. Oh, it still feels a little tough. So we're gonna give it more time. Um, more time. All right, so that the rice is cooking. Um, we don't need to cook the rice cakes at all. Um, and we're gonna put the marinade, the chicken, together and cook that. And then add the cabbage and the sweet potato and the rice cakes and do a little stir fry. Um, we'll probably do the chicken first with the rice cakes and the sweet potato because I want to make sure that, that it cooks properly and then add the cabbage. It's really going to take no time. Add the perilla leaves. Um, and the only thing we have to get for the main dish is get some lettuce. We got some bib lettuce. Some bib lettuce. It's delicious. Check out my bib. I guess we can get out and ready the, um... Alright, ooh. That's fuzzy. That... Alright, we're gonna toss this bed. My... Usually they say it lasts a couple, uh, weeks, but not that one. That's bad. Mm-mm. Give me my butter lettuce. Show me potato salad. Oh no, we got frozen! Oh my god! Why does this keep happening? I'm so sick of my shit getting frozen all the time. Ugh, they lie a lot. Fuck. Alright, let's hope I can salvage something. Fuck. I hate that my like look at that, it's all frozen. Maybe there there's if you pull pull it back. Yeah, we got some some we got we got some decent lettuce. We can make we can make some lettuce wraps, but this is all ruined from the frozen. It's frozen. It's frozen. How dare. All right, the rest is okay, I guess. Nice, that one. Um, mm, okay, good enough. One thing about smoking marijuana makes my wiener double in size. Why not edibles? I mean, Mulder's special. You know, he's a gift. We don't have many people like Mulder, and he sticks around, you know? You all right? D did you really get... Did you, I mean, he just had a concussion. It's fine. He's just kind of not, not in his element right now. They make some, yeah, want to die, but they don't actually die. It's not a good time for for them. Don't, oh god, I remember there was a story with Bear. Bear told a story about one time he had too many edibles and he kept eating them. <sighs> um, yeah. 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 
Don't be like Bear. Is DMT legal now? <laughs> I mean... No. No, no molder. It's still not legal. Alright, so we need garlic chives. We need 100 grams. When, when Pac got legal here, people are... Dude, it's like... Man, I, I, I honestly... It's like... People in the Netherlands are like, yo, weed's legal here and it doesn't really matter. Cause like, the, the allure is gone because it's no longer something sneaky and special. Like anybody could do it if they want to. And this is not a big deal. <laughs> it's just another thing. Um, if you like beer, you like beer. If you like weed, you like weed. And you know, do whatever it makes you happy, you know? Um. <laughs> I think, yeah, to me, like, I'm like, I don't know. I don't really care. People do what they want to do. It's not like... Uh, meh. Can I, I'm, is we legal in Virginia? Technically, no. Um, sorta. So, like, the new governor is a shithead and I hate him, but... Um, they made it so it's legal to grow weed. It's not legal to buy the seed, but you can trade the seed. Um, but, um... It's complicated, but, like, I think that possession is, is illegal again? I don't... It's complicated because they, like, rolled back some rules. You can't buy it legally. It's... it's a mess. Fuck my governor. He's a shit. And like, it's backfiring because everybody's realizing that he's just a shithead. <laughs> I hate him. Um. <laughs> Mulder's like, can I like sleep on your couch? Thanks. Um, thank you. I might add this whole thing. We'll just make the whole thing because this is. 150 grams of the chives. If we cut off the, the ends, I think it'll be about 100. That's my mom said it was okay. Sleepover time in Rod's house. All right, so these are garlic chives. Um, we're gonna take these and we're gonna chop them up. We're gonna add some um, pepper sauce and some of the gochujang, um, soy sauce, all the good stuff. We're making basically. Like a salad, sorta of, kinda. Sorta of, kinda. Sorta of, kinda. And it's really good for you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you might try, at minimum try to sneak a peek. A little peeky peek. Don't hurt yourself, buddy. Alright, we cut the butts off. And. We're gonna throw this through the salad spinner really quick to make sure this is super dry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna be making um, heckin' mozzarella and pepperoni strombolis. We're gonna make the, the pizza dough. We're gonna make all the fillings inside. We're gonna bake it, we're gonna eat it. And then we're gonna play some uh, Call to the lamb and hopefully that's good. Cause it's got good reviews so far. So far so good, right? Hey PJ, hello, hi. I just wanna compare your peepees. Like, see which one has the most powerful peepees. Uh, thank you for the host, PJ. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Um, I just don't think it's gonna last very long cause it's, it looks like when it's over, it's kind of over. But you know, play it. Cut into two inch lengths. Okay. Um, you don't have to touch to compare. You, you just like, yo, 
There you go. Sneak a peek. I mean, it's okay. Every every PB is different. And, you know, they're all unique and special. Okay? Alright, so I'm gonna cut off the ends. And we're gonna get, like, about two inch pieces. Also, if you have any brown pieces, you wanna probably cut that off. Alright, that seems about right. I'm gonna take out the brown pieces, because it doesn't taste very good. Alright, so we got that together. Um, he wants to feel the difference, Rod. Alright, so I'm gonna whisk together soy sauce water, chili powder, uh, the Korean chili powder, and the gochugaru, uh, sesame seeds, sugar, rice vinegar, and sesame oil. And then we're gonna add the chives to the salad dressing. We're gonna keep it separate till we're ready to serve up because I don't want it to, you know, get mushy. It's probably not gonna keep too well in the fridge, to be honest. So you know, I don't want to be. So one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. It, yeah, every every. I totally understand that tomorrow, everybody's gonna be playing Cult of Lamb, and already people that have it early access are playing it right now, and I don't blame anybody for doing it. Um, there isn't a lot of games coming out for a hot minute. And it's kind of the new hot shit for the the month. Because everybody's looking for something to play. Let me be honest. Everybody just wants something fun. They just want to have fun. And we got a teaspoon of water. We're going to add one and a half teaspoons of the gochugaru. Still have out. But yeah, it's just kind of... Also, this is not the powder, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll work. Um, we're gonna add one teaspoon of sesame seeds. Um, we'll use the white sesame seeds, I think. <laughs> I mean, so do many people. I mean, honestly. We're gonna have one and a half teaspoons of sugar, or you can use brown sugar too. You and Sammy's would be breast bros, uh, Mulder. I'll say that. I don't know about laying naked, each on her own lazy boy, but you know, you do you, man. Half a tablespoon of rice vinegar. Make, I'm, I don't. They didn't say specifically unseasoned or seasoned. It, I don't think it matters. This is fancy pants, uh, rice wine vinegar. Uh, it's good. It tastes good. Um, I, w I would not be able to tell you the difference between that and regular ass rice vinegar, but it tastes good. That's all that matters, right? And... Half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Now hopefully by the time we got this ready, the rice cake should be uh, getting a little bit softer. I'm gonna start cooking all this together. Yeah, we're gonna whisk together the dressing. I don't know what I'm doing. What, what am I doing? Nobody knows. All right, so I'm gonna whisk it and we're gonna set to the side and do that thing. Uh, we'll, we'll put together the uh, salad stuff later, but this is the dressing. Once it looks like it's all just basically fine, we're good to go. We could just leave it. It looks good. Oh, it smells delicious though. Yes, that salad dressing. I put that on other stuff, you know, that might be nice. Um, feel like I died of COVID and got ran over by the hearse. Hey, that's, that's rough. I'm gonna just clean up this hot mess. All kinds of things. I could put this, uh, we don't need this onion though. I imagine you can maybe, if you want to, add the sliced onion. 
to the dish if you want. I mean, it wouldn't hurt it for sure. It won't hurt it. We don't need the cornstarch. Any of this stuff. I put the leftover perilla leaves in the fridge. I'll have to get a new baggie for that because I don't want them to dry out. Um, we're almost ready cooking. Let's clean up some stuff off the counter that I don't need, that I know I won't need. Because it'd be nice not to have all this crap on my counter. Sweet. Yeah, it's easy peasy day because, man, yesterday was a lot of work. I was pooped. Dude, yesterday I was so tired that I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm going to go and lay down. I was playing Astral Chain, which is pretty fun. It's like my Japanese enemies, but kind of derpier and, and fun. Um... We'll do some dishes if we get some downtime, maybe. Maybe at least cleaning some knives up. And we're almost done. We're gonna clean up this mess. Uh, so we're gonna start with adding the chicken and the marinade. Get, bring that to the simmer and add the sweet potato and add the uh, rice cakes. If we, if we feel like this is actually soft enough, it should be like, it's slightly better. Let's get in there. I think this will be okay. It's, it's been sitting for at least 15 minutes. It's fine. It's always recommended to soak them a bit first because it gets the, uh, in case they're dried uh, a bit, it'll soak up the moisture. All right, so let's get back over there. And we're gonna get, oh, do we do this in a, we could do this in a walk. I, I think that'd be fine. And we got 10 minutes left for the race, so this will come out perfectly when the right time. All right, so let's get this over there. We have number one. We're gonna add the chicken cleave. Cleave, hello. How are you doing? Making some uh, duck albi for dinner. What could you talk about? God damn it. God damn it. All right, so let's heat this up on medium. I want a cult game about lambs. Me too. I was hoping that maybe I would get like a surprise that I get like an early access code, but I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I'll check my email before I start playing Two Point Campus. I wasn't planning on getting early access. That'd be great though. Um, I don't always get games like a little bit higher profile stuff um, that, you know, everybody's going to play regardless of they get a key. <laughs> it's one of those days. Um, everybody's playing. They don't have a limited amount of keys to give out, you know? It's fair. It's fair. Once in a while I get a surprise. And I get a good key. That I wanted to play anyway and I save some money. <laughs> I bet I haven't been checking hourly. I swear, I swear. I mean, fair. Alright. Alright, so the chive salad's done, basically. Uh, minus, we haven't mixed everything together because I wanted to keep the the, uh, the chives nice and, and not mushing. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to play a date early, true. Um, I might buy it later tonight. Um, I wanted the pre-order Cthulhu thing. Though they already have the DLCs. They already have the DLCs uh, plan that they're going to add more characters to it. So I'm like, eh, it's fair. I mean, it's just cosmetics, right? Um, yo, Jasta, thank you for the retweet. Um, um, oh my god. My stomach. Oof, sorry about that. Um, mm -hmm. is there anything worth talking about? I'm Freddy of. Ah, uh, go deep. I've heard it's not super long. You might be able to beat it this weekend. Um. Mm -hmm. 
I'm smoking. We don't need to get it really hot temperature. Um, also, Mickey, I don't know. I, somebody told me about this, and I'm like, huh, this looks like up my alley. I, li I like city management things. I don't, I don't know if you like stuff like that too, Mickey. Um, oh God, what was that game? Let me go look up my followed games. Um, if you like city management, it looked interesting. I was maybe going to buy it this weekend and try it out and see if it's something I worth uh, maybe streaming called Farthest Frontier. I'm willing to try it out because, you know what, I think that games like that might do... That might, maybe those are kind of the games I maybe should play that are a little bit more chill because it, it vibes with the cooking more than... Uh, but yeah, it came out of Early Access yesterday, I think. Uh, you saw Cranger buy it? Yeah, it looks... Intri I'm, I'm intrigued because I like games like that. Um, not your vibe? But yeah, I like I like uh, you know roguelikes. I like city stuff and, and stuff like that too. Uh, yeah, I played No. 1800. That was good. Oh, play it. Okay. All right. So anyway, we're gonna add three tablespoons of some kind of oil to coat the bottom because this doesn't actually have really any oil in it. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm me I'm measuring it for like you know make sure I don't add too much oil, you know? This is a half tablespoon. By the way, um, uh, next week, I, I think everything will be fine other than I don't know how loud it's going to be in here. It might be, I might have to sound a, set up a uh, noise gate. Uh, they're doing work on her house uh, and they're on the roof and I don't know how annoying it's gonna be um at least like the thing about my mic it doesn't really pick anything up that's not like near my face usually as well as the rest of the stuff um so you know we'll see all right we're gonna add the sauce yes all of the marinade and everything together give it a stir all right, so we got we got something going. We're gonna get this to a simmer. We're not trying to brown the chicken. We're trying to, it's, it's more like a stew, honestly, than a stir fry, but you know, that's my opinion. We're gonna cook the marinade all together. And then we'll, and once this gets a little bubbly, uh, make sure to scrape out all this, this uh, stuff, because we're gonna need every little bit of it to keep the moisture up. Get the. There we go. Alright, so it's gonna bubble a little bit. We're gonna add the sweet potato and these rice cakes first. And then we'll add the, uh, the cabbage at the end because I don't want to have like super mushy cabbage, okay? That's what I always like to do. It's up to you. You can add them all once if you don't care. But, you know, we're just getting this a little bubbly first, so it's hot. And then uh, we'll add in sweet potato. We, we have uh, sliced into quarters and uh, about like a quarter inch, uh, half and, and then about a quarter inch thick. We have the rice cakes. These are the best little shits. If you've never had these, they're fantastic. I freaking love rice cakes. It's just glutinous rice if you can eat gluten. And we might have to add water as it cooks, but yeah, we're doing this first. Um, and then we'll add the cabbage. Um, once we can feel like it's almost done cooking, then we'll add some more moisture to the pan too. Um, at the very, very end, when the chicken's basically cooked and the sweet potatoes are cooked about 15 minutes total, uh, we'll add the uh, perilla leaves, just cook it till it's start, starting to wilt. I never use perilla leaves. I'm interested to see how they taste. Uh, so they're supposedly perilla is sesame leaves, like the sesame plant leaves. I've never seen it really. So I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is fun. Yeah, this this sweet potato should cook really fast because it it's cut really really thin. 
in theory. But yeah, wok like this is probably recommended because there's a lot of food to put all in a pan. It just kind of heats better. I'm gonna grab some water. I kind of had a headache. Dude, the last two days, my sinuses have been kind of fucked. Um, it's just all the storms coming through, killing me. Uh, I think it's supposed to storm today. They said there could be flooding. Hey, buddy. It's your haiku. Oh, big stretch, buddy. Hi. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? I'm just getting some water. What are you doing, buddy? Boy. Yeah. Yeah, sleep, buddy. Yeah. yeah, it was super hot earlier and I was sweating. I'm like, what is going on? Why is it so hot? Um Hey Irfan, how's Gary? Um he's doing better he didn't get like a full-blown fever like the last two days he had about like a 99.5 at the most if i'm right um but yeah he's still gonna go to the doctor but it's not maybe not as urgent uh he needs to find a primary care and like the, the shitty thing is he doesn't want to like have to oh geez that's the rice all right so we're gonna open this up fluff it up and then close the lid for a sec yeah, it's just some really weird. I think it's an autoimmune thing because his family tends to have autoimmune problems. But yeah, it's just a really odd thing to happen, right? It's really, really weird. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of getting fevers at night. It starts around 8:30. His body starts to like his joints hurt and his muscles sometimes hurt and then around like by 10 11 the, the temperature starts to go up and it just like i don't know man it's a little weird and it's, it's all like clock, clockwork every single day it's it's kind of like the same same turn of events his uh yesterday his front of his, his uh, shins were like it felt like it was like a sharp pain and he's like what is going frustrating because it's like this this isn't like a normal being sick kind of thing but yeah like usually it hurts in, in most in his his, his uh, wrist and uh, elbow and like uh, I think in his feet in the joints um, but he was like, that, that shin pain was like, that's not a joint. There's no joint there. It's not really in the shin, like the front of the, the leg. It's more like in the like the foot, you know. That, but he's like, maybe he's possessed. Need to use leeches to remove the bad blood. Yeah, we're talking about bad blood, the other day. <laughs> All right, so this is basically Doc Alpi. It's a stir fry, kind of, sort of. Also make sure to not let the all the rice cake is sticking a little smidge in. That's okay. We can make it work. We're gonna add the cabbage, cabbage, in here. Give it a toss. Just add the moisture to the the actual pot too. Um, add a little bit more moisture. It's good looking that galbi. And then don't worry, this will shrink down to nothing, basically. Yeah, just keep stirring it every once in a while so that it doesn't stick. Um, and it's good stuff. Uh, we might add a little bit more liquid, depending on how much is left in the pan, in like a couple minutes. Yeah, we're just cooking this till the sweet potato gets softened and the chicken is fully cooked. Of course, it's still pink, it's not cooked. Thank you. You can also cover this, which I might start to right now, because the cabbage is in, and it'll steam and cook off a lot of the moisture. Put some, some lid on there so it can have more juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just something weird. Uh, usually doesn't have any problems. I mean, the worst he gets is like, yeah, he's a headache. 
science pig, you like normal people. And then you have like some random fevers for no like I don't think he's sick. Like he's feels fine all day long. Alright, we're gonna allow this to keep the juices inside and steam a little bit. Um, we need about maybe 10 more minutes to cook, uh, to fully cook the chicken. Um, everything's pretty good to go. Uh, it's currently 2.30. I think we're gonna get done cooking by 3. Isn't that pretty sweet? I like that. I like a, a quick cook day. Um, he drinks plenty of water. He drinks plenty of water. I don't think it has anything to do with water intake, for sure. Like, he he stays going on point with that, for sure. I think it's just his body got, body got worn down and maybe too much inflammation in his body and triggered something. His body's like, what the fuck? He's just super stressed and he didn't sleep that one night. He's just old. Yeah, he's just old. Gary, Gary, you gotta just, you just gotta suck it up. You're just old now. <laughs> You're too old for this shit. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry, Gary. I know you might be listening, but you know. Sorry. What? No, no, nothing? By the way, it's gonna... Nothing? No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying it. Also, we got a cleave uh, clip. You old... No! Before I back this truck truck and bring one of the... Vo I'm just saying you're old too for be staying up all night. And playing video games. Come on, Gary. Also, let's do a... Cleave clip, because I missed it. You can't, you can't, we don't have a truck. You can't back up a truck if they, we had no truck. Oh, I remember this game. Hey man, what's going on? Hey, 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 hey. hey. Meet men. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you did. <laughs> Rest in pieces. I mean, it's just a smear on the side of that wall. Yeah. Oof. Poor kid. Didn't know what was coming. Um, I just want to make friend. No, he doesn't want to be friend with you. All right. Give this a stir before it gets charred on the... Well, actually, it wouldn't hurt it to char it on the bottom, but, you know... I just don't want my freaking rice cakes to stick, buddy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Looking pretty tasty. Yeah, buddy. Tell is the one that falls asleep at midnight. I go to bed at midnight-ish. I mean, that's fine. I go to bed while I'm tired because that's what normal people do and not stay up till 5 a.m. playing video games and going to work to the next day. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Man, there's a lot of people play Cult and Lamb, which is totally fair. I would be doing the same thing. I would be doing the same thing. To be honest, if I had the ability to play it today, um, I didn't fall asleep until 4 a.m. because I'm not. T Why don't you just get tired, Gary? How about you just get up and like do stuff and then clean and then you go to bed because you're tired or something? I don't know. I'm just saying. 
Um, is anybody gonna be playing that Rumbleverse game? It looked kind of fun. Some of us don't have narcolepsy. So, are you gonna talk shit about Taylor because you, I, I have narcolepsy? Or something like it? I don't know what I, I don't honestly know what it is. What the fuck? Gary, I got you. No, don't be back and best back up, Jimmy. I swear to God, Jimmy. You with your goddamn. And scrape this bottom of this pan up a little bit. Yeah, get that shit up, buddy. Keep that juice in there. I'm gonna add some more juice. Mm, add more. Oh, it smells so good in here. Oh, yeah, buddy. Scrape out that. You best back up, Jimmy. You eating the freaking Doritos Locos. How dare. You just don't even know what good food is. Slap you silly. I add more liquid because I want to. Dang it, Jimmy. Alright, I'm gonna make it more more liquidy, because it'll taste better that way. This is Doc Gobby. And it's pretty great. It's pretty simple. I planned it because I didn't want to do a lot of freaking work for cooking anything. I was like, Tilly's just jealous? No, I don't, I mean, I haven't even had Doritos Locos. I don't even know what that is. I'm sorry. We don't go to Taco Bell, Gary. Because you have standards. I'd rather go to Wendy's. Wendy's is good. I mean, Wendy's is better than Taco Bell. No, no you won't. You won't do it, Gary. Tacos at 4 a.m. instead? Yeah, wake up, go get some tacos, and go to bed. Mm -hmm. You're set and ready to go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It looks like they only gave early access to partners, which is fair. Um, I'm clicking through everybody on the list and they're all partnered streamers. I'm just saying. Just saying. Every one of them is partnered. It's fine. But other than that, wait, wait, a couple more minutes and uh, at least I had those crackers. We have food. Oh my god, Molder, that fucking bathtub! It's just concrete. It's just concrete wall! What the f where did you get that picture, Molder? Jesus Christ! Who lives like this? <laughs> Who even lives like this with a concrete fucking wall? With a, with a faucet coming out of it. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, almost done. For fuck's sake, Molder, what the heck is that? Looks like shit. That better not be your bathtub. Oh, excuse me. Um. My god, what's happening? Rod's Discord. I just scroll in. What the hell is that? Um. Is anybody else not going to TwitchCon? Anybody? Anybody else not going to TwitchCon? Does anybody want to just like hang out during TwitchCon and like have like a group fun games and stuff? We could all like buy pizza and hang out with each other on the Discord. Cause that would be fun. Everybody gets pe mandatory pizza? And your drink of choice. 
and hang out and play video games. That sounds like a plan. You gotta bring pizza though. You gotta post your pizza that's your pass, okay? You gotta pay the pizza pass tax. Um That's the minimum. So this is finally getting there. It's, I think the chicken is almost done. It was a good call. Oh my god, this is sticking though. I gotta... Come on. I, I, I don't think there's any better way to do this. It just sticks. It's just literally gluten. Maybe, yeah, maybe if... Uh, maybe if next year it's not so spicy for COVID and... The timing is better, maybe. All right, I'm gonna take, uh, this is not done. This, this uh, sweet potato is not finished. Um, let me take a temperature of the chicken because we can definitely let that keep cooking. Like it's, it's not gonna hurt nothing. I'll let that keep cooking. Um, but I just wanna know, is it actually cooked? It's like 170. Yeah, it's, it's cooked. 168. Yeah, it's it's fine. Um. Yeah, I'm. I don't know why the price of the ticket's so high. Like, it almost feels like way too much for like what it is. Like, I imagine they're not gonna. Yeah, 168. Freaking. Hey. Like, I can't imagine. Like, but those passes are so fun. It's, it's it. $30 more than the last TwitchCon, and they probably have less events and stuff going on, to be honest. Um. I mean, maybe they do have as much, but I don't know, man. I think that they, it's, they only said 10,000. They said, they said for that event, they had like 20,000 total people allowed in the building. I remember the last uh, Twitch count in San Diego, it was 50,000 tickets, if I, if I remember it. Right. Which is fair, because they probably want more space and, you know, comfy, not, not jamming people together. Um, maybe. Perhaps. Right, we're cooking this. It needs more time to cook the sweet potato. Just so you know, uh, we're making Dak Albi. This is uh, chunked up uh, chicken thighs, uh, rice cakes, sweet potato, cut into really thin. Um, I added some water to this because it wasn't quite enough. Is Mulder being naughty again? Well, not, not at the moment. He hasn't, like, talked about grabbing your your pee pee so I mean he's been alright he's, he's, he's like I'm I he's tired and he wants to have weed somebody help this man he's like my ribs are broken I have no weed and I'm gonna go take a nap because my name is Mulder and I'm sleepy boy to write many emails oh no so all you gotta do is have like that google auto dictate thing and just like have google be your assistant to tell them exactly how you think you should sit respond to the emails that's all you gotta do right just, just like google do it it's fine right right But yeah, we have to cook that sweet potato till it's soft. It's it's not soft. Spoiler. It's not. It's not soft. Also, yeah, two point camp is coming up in a little bit. I really like that game. It is super chill. I don't know if it's too sleepy. Like, what what do you guys feel about the two point campus? Cause I I actually like doing it. We're gonna play it again today. Um, we got that cult of lamb tomorrow. I may play cult of lamb on Monday, cause. 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be really sad not playing it all weekend. So I'm gonna play it on Monday, probably. Um, I've been liking it, it's fun. I, I will say I will not get three stars because I realize how much of a time sink it is. Maybe I'll get one star on everything and just come back and, and revisit if I wanted to. I just want to unlock stuff. I just want to unlock stuff. It's a little, a little rough at first when you don't have a lot of things and you don't have the unlocks. And we, we obviously need it. All right. Oh, it's getting thick. All that starch is coming out of that sweet potato. I think, though, it might be done now. Wait, I wish today was Friday. I know. Sorry. All right, this might be done. We've got to be really on point with this sweet potato because it goes to mush like instantly. Um, let's cool it up. The chicken's done though. Mmm, mm-hmm. All right, it's perfect. So that's that's all we had to do. It's slightly spicy. I like the flavor on it. Um, what we're gonna do is add the perilla leaves we quartered, uh, about the size of a basil leaf, you know. I'm gonna add that in here. It's gonna be gorgeous. Oh, that's a stir. And I can probably turn the heat off at this point. Uh, I've never used pearl leaves. It's kind of like a sesame leaf. Sesame leaf. It looks good. I'm a fan. All right, so let's, uh, yeah, some of those, those uh, poor little um, rice cakes kind of fucked up, you know. It's all good. Once it looks wilted, which is about now, it's done. All right, so what we're gonna do, um, back to the counter. Oh my God, my, dude, do you guys even realize, dude, I don't, I don't, I can't even show you. My button keeps falling off. It's kind of putting a damper on things. Like why can't, I, why can't I even, I wonder if it's glued? I can't keep it on. But anyway, uh, so we have, this is the, garlic chives. We're going to add it to the dressing here and toss it together. Uh, that's going to be the side dish with this, with rice. Um, mm -hmm. Give this a stir. And we have the dot galbi. This is ready to go. Looks gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to give this a stir here. It actually looks really tasty. I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this out. I don't think I've actually made this. I made like a type of, um, there's a rogue long one in there. That's fine. All right. So this is the salad. This is ses uh, sesame oil, sesame seeds, um, soy sauce, um, gochugaru. Mix it all together. It looks great. Um, that, that mixture that we just made, uh, we're going to go serve this in lettuce wraps. And we got rice here. Uh, you're gonna have on the side. We always have rice with everything. Need some kind of filler, boys. Yeah, check out the dinner command if you'd like to. Check that, we made uh, duck albi. I did not type up the recipe for the, the side thing because it's like, yo, chop it up, whisk together the dressing, call it a day. And most of you probably will not be able to find uh, garlic, garlic greens. All right, so this is rice, ready to go. Alright, so we're gonna pleat this. I don't know if we're gonna try wrap it up, boys. Wrap it up. We got uh, pearl leaves. We're gonna go rinse these really quick. And um, what you do, you take one uh, piece of lettuce, a uh, sesame leaf, and a pile of the dagalbi, and you eat it like that. Um, I noticed that some of my lettuce was a little frozen, so we, we got rid of that. We still have enough to make dinner. Also, we, of course, have rice, which is fine. The uh, sesame seed, uh, sesame leaves are, they smell fantastic. It smells so good. All right, so we're gonna have that. Uh, we're gonna take, I don't know, I should plate it like, I'm thinking, I'm gonna grab a nice looking plate here. Nice looking plate. Oh, this one might. Um, hmm. Maybe pick a light colored plate because everything's a lot like browns and stuff. 
All right. All right, and green. All right, so we're gonna take this plate. Um, we might not put the race on this plate, but we just wanna make something that looks good. Um, so I'm grab one of the, I'm gonna also clean these lettuce leaves. We got bib lettuce here, which I love as a lettuce wrap cup. It's great. Um, we're gonna grab a bunch of these. So to assemble, and for, for Gary's purpose as well, um, you grab a leaf, you grab one of these leaves, uh, you pile on the food that you want, and you can eat that uh, garlic chives on the side, like a side dish kind of thing. And uh, yeah, rice, rice if you want as well. I'm just gonna clean this though. Get dirty. Yeah, you don't want to ever eat lettuce without like at least rinsing it off, so there's any bugs or stuff on it. You don't want that. You don't want that, buddy. All right, so I think we're just like think three of these. Maybe do like three of this lettuce wraps, yeah. I'm just gonna try to find the good looking leaves because some of them are not so good. Um, all right, so we got the leaves. We're gonna put in, or maybe we'll put in the center like some, some of this salad, maybe? Maybe I'm thinking about um, it. They say, small dollop of samjang kimchi and using chicken potato rice cake for the perfect bite. If you wanna be particular about it, we could, we could. Um, be particular. These are pretty big. We also want to remove these stems. Don't eat the stems. Um, yeah. I mean, this also protects the uh, protects the actual leaf from getting uh, kind of messed up as well and molting on you. All right. And then we're gonna grab some kimchi. Grab some kimchi. Put that on the bottom. I love kimchi, by the way. I'm really okay with this. Um, <laughs> Yo, Misty Rose, thank you for that host. And welcome. We're making duck galbi. I uh, usually have it like a lettuce wrap kind of thing. All right. So I'm gonna grab some kimchi. I don't have. I don't have. Uh, or two. I actually, I might have chopsticks somewhere because that would be easier to. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, look at this. I'm really bad at chopsticks. That's fine. Um, I got some metal ones that are really hard to use. Um, hey, Misty. Welcome. I'm doing okay. I hope you're right. Hope everyone's doing okay. I suck at chopsticks. Just, just b believe. Believe in me. We got drippage, drippage. All right, just grab a little bit, little bit of kimchi on there. Drop a little kimchi and rinse it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, you're you're welcome to work lurk here if you like. Rinse this bad boy off. It's kind of suck. Um, but it's fine. This work. All right, so they say to grab like a piece. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so hard to use these metal fuckers! Alright, come here, come, come here, come here. Ah, here we go. One piece. Yeah, 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 okay. Come here. Come, come here, come, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Alright, there we go. <laughs> A piece of chicken, alright. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Chicken? Maybe another piece of chicken. Uh, just two, two pieces, man. C come on, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, c come on. It's, it's, come on. Two pieces of chicken. Um, some of that perilla leaf cooked up and... Oh, that looks better. That looks good, right? That looks good. That kind of fell over. That's fine. Just gotta just pick it with up your hands. Just grab it with your hands. You don't want to burn your hands, though, right? Fuck! <laughs> I can't do this. This is too much. Oh my god, this should be a redemption. Use the goddamn chopsticks, Tilly, and fucking suffer. <laughs> No! I fuck 
fucking no these chopsticks suck um they're so slippery all right and then a little bit of cabbage come on maybe a little bit of these these cute little oh god the rice cakes um rice cake look how cute they are they're cute Whew. they're cute this is not the chopsticks no shh shh gary you let you have chopsticks see how you like it buddy come on buddy come on it's fine a little bit of cabbage cabbage come on come come here come here come here a little bit of this a little bit of that come on Bit of that. Come here. No. Shh. They don't need to know the truth. I suck. I'm. I'm. I'm making. Dude. I'm making fire drag. He's just watching me type. Uh, like i watching me do this, and offended. They're like, oh my god, Tilly. T Tilly. It's really hard to pick up this tiny little. Fuck it. Fuck you. I'm grabbing a fork. <laughs> I'm grabbing a fork. We're putting some cabbage on it. Okay. I'm grabbing a, only a little bit of ca- <laughs> No, shh, shh, shh. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> no! Misty, don't bless my heart! No, I know what that's code for! No! It's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. I, I don't have any patience for this right now. I just want... I can't chopstick fire drink! I suck at it! I don't... I've used a chopsticks once in my life, fire drink. Once. Once. Okay. Gary doesn't eat sushi, so there's no reason for me to use chopsticks. Okay. There's never any reason to use chopsticks ever. I need the cheater sticks. I need little ba baby chopsticks. Okay. This is true. I just need the baby stuff. Maybe another one. Maybe another. I think we could do another, right? Um. It's fine. It's very greasy now. We gotta fix this up. We gotta, we gotta clean this plate. Alright. Or maybe we could just put the... Yeah, we could put the greens in front. It's 80% of foods. Just tongs. No, it doesn't work with the tongs. It's too small. Too small. Alright. Just, just use your hands. Grab it with your hands. Yeah, there you go. Hands. Hands were good too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hands. Ha! Perfect. Hands. Even I use chopsticks, Tilly, because no. Chopsticks are your hands. No. I refuse. Raz use chopsticks on the chicken he microwaves a shrinks wrap. What? Huh? Wait, excuse me? What? That's something. I'm I'm uh So this looks gorgeous, right? That's not what happened, Luker. Lunch date with mom, good luck, have fun. Yay. All right, that looks good. Um, that looks like a good looking plate. I'm gonna take a picture of this and I'm gonna eat it. And then I'll probably grab my other and stuff it in my face. Um, in a second. What category would, just chatting, cause we're definitely not eating. Um. <laughs> Um, so anyway, 
We're gonna get this ready. Uh, I gotta push some stuff away. It looks gorgeous. I can't wait to eat it and see how it tastes. Um, I need to move some stuff around and oh, and tell you sleeping, my baby. Yeah. Oh my God, you're so cute, baby. Yeah. Meow. You're super cute. You're like half asleep looking at me like, huh? What, what, what are you, are you talking shit about me? Grab a bowl of rice with this and 